Since the dawn of human ingenuity, we have been fascinated by the idea of flight. From the mythical Icarus to the Wright brothers, the desire to conquer the skies has been a relentless pursuit. This pursuit of flight has evolved into a quest for speed. The faster we could go, the further we could reach and the more we could explore. The early 20th century saw an explosion of innovation in aviation. Biplanes gave way to monoplanes and piston engines were replaced by powerful jet engines. With each breakthrough the dream of faster, higher and farther flight became a reality. The sound barrier once thought impenetrable was shattered. It was in this era of rapid advancement that the SR-71 Blackbird emerged, a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of speed. The SR-71 did not simply break the sound barrier, it soared past it. With a top speed exceeding Mach 3, over three times the speed of sound, it became the fastest air-breathing manned aircraft ever built. The Blackbird was a marvel of engineering and technology, a testament to the power of human innovation when pushed to its limits. Its sleek black silhouette, resembling a bird of prey, became synonymous with speed and advanced technology. The SR-71 Blackbird story is not just about breaking speed records, it is a testament to the human spirit of exploration, the desire to push the boundaries of what is possible. It is a story of technological innovation, strategic brilliance, and the unwavering commitment of the men and women who designed, built, and flew this remarkable aircraft. The SR-71 Blackbird's genesis can be traced back to the geopolitical tensions of the Cold War. The United States and the Soviet Union were locked in an ideological struggle, a battle for global dominance that played out on multiple fronts. In this high-stakes game of chess, information was paramount. The ability to gather intelligence on your adversary's capabilities and intentions was crucial for maintaining a strategic advantage. Traditional reconnaissance methods, such as sending in aircraft on visual reconnaissance missions, proved inadequate. These missions were time-consuming, vulnerable to enemy defenses, and often yielded limited results. The U.S. military needed a new approach, a way to peer behind the Iron Curtain without putting pilots at risk. They needed an aircraft that was fast enough to outrun enemy missiles, high-flying enough to evade radar detection, and sophisticated enough to gather valuable intelligence. Enter the Lockheed Skunk Works, a top-secret division of Lockheed Martin known for its advanced aerospace development. Led by the legendary engineer Clarence Kelly Johnson, the Skunk Works was tasked with developing a revolutionary reconnaissance aircraft that could meet the demanding requirements of the Cold War. Johnson and his team of engineers embraced the challenge, pushing the boundaries of what was considered aerodynamically possible. The result of their efforts was a technological marvel. The SR-71, nicknamed the Blackbird for its distinctive black paint scheme, was unlike anything the world had ever seen. It was a triumph of engineering, a fusion of cutting-edge technology and innovative design. The Blackbird was not only fast and stealthy, but it was also equipped with advanced sensors and cameras, capable of capturing high-resolution images from incredible altitudes. Creating an aircraft capable of exceeding Mach 3, three times the speed of sound, presented unprecedented engineering challenges. The intense heat generated by air friction at such speeds was a major obstacle. Conventional materials like aluminum would simply melt. To overcome this, the engineers at Lockheed turned to a relatively new and exotic material, titanium. Titanium, known for its strength and heat resistance, became a defining feature of the SR-71's construction. The aircraft's skin was primarily composed of titanium alloys, allowing it to withstand the extreme temperatures encountered at hypersonic speeds. However, even titanium had its limits. At Mach 3, the SR-71 surface temperature could reach over 600 degrees Fahrenheit. This heat caused the metal to expand, and the engineers had to account for this expansion in their design. The Blackbird's distinctive shape with its long, slender fuselage, sharply swept wings, and chines along the sides of the cockpit was not merely an aesthetic choice. 
It was the result of countless hours of wind tunnel testing and aerodynamic refinement. Every curve and contour was meticulously designed to minimize drag and ensure stability at hypersonic speeds. Powering this technological marvel were two Pratt and Whitney J-58 engines, some of the most powerful jet engines ever built. These engines were marvels in their own right, capable of generating over 32,000 pounds of thrust each. The J-58S were unique in their ability to transition from turbojet to ramjet mode at high speeds, essentially using the aircraft's forward motion to compress incoming air for combustion, further increasing thrust and efficiency. The SR-71 Blackbird took its maiden flight on December 22, 1964, marking the beginning of an illustrious career that would span decades. Throughout its service, the Blackbird flew over 3,500 sorties, many of them shrouded in secrecy. It was deployed to various locations around the world, from the skies over Vietnam to the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea. One of the Blackbird's most celebrated missions took place on July 28, 1976, when it set two world records that still stand today. On that day, an SR-71, piloted by Captain Robert Helt and Reconnaissance Systems Officer Lieutenant Colonel Larry Evans, flew from New York to London in one hour, 54 minutes and 56 seconds, achieving an average speed of 1,806.954 miles per hour. This record-breaking flight solidified the Blackbird's reputation as the undisputed king of speed. The SR-71's remarkable speed was not its only asset. It could fly at altitudes exceeding 85,000 feet, higher than any other aircraft at the time. This high-altitude capability, combined with its advanced sensors and cameras, allowed the Blackbird to gather intelligence on vast areas of enemy territory without ever entering their airspace. It is said that a single SR-71 could survey an area the size of Florida in just one hour. The SR-71's speed and altitude also made it virtually invulnerable to enemy attack. It could outrun any missile or interceptor aircraft that was launched against it. There is a story, perhaps apocryphal, that an SR-71 pilot, upon being informed by ground control that a missile had been launched at his aircraft, calmly replied, Well, I guess it's his fuel against mine. 